countries are you can't really effectively clean up or contain or recover oil in a major marine oil spill. It just has never happened anywhere. Seldom is more than 10 percent contained and recovered out of the environment. The rest stays there and some evaporates and some dissolves into the water and then it degrades over time. But uh, <laughs> seldom is more than 10 percent recovered. So this whole mythology that we can effectively respond to a spill is just that. It cannot be effectively contained or recovered. That the Gulf of Mexico is like the wildlife nursery of North America. Three quarters of the migratory waterfowl, the ducks and the geese that go north in the spring and south in the fall, stop in the wetlands along the Gulf of Mexico. We have four species of sea turtle that in the next few weeks are going to be swimming across the surface, feeding at the surface, breathing at the surface, um, and they're going to come ashore and they're going to lay their eggs. They're going to dig down through the sand, they're going to lay their eggs, they're going to bury them in the sand, and they're going to swim back out to sea. If that sand is covered in oil, they're going to be digging through that oil. The baby turtles, when they hatch out, are going to have to dig out through that oil. And again, they're going to be feeding at the surface, they're going to be breathing at the surface. Eighty percent of the saltwater species in the Gulf of Mexico come into the estuaries and bays to spawn, and they're doing it right now. This is the worst time and the worst place for this oil spill, not that there's ever a good place.